Hello dear student, this is Dr. Sahar from DentaVest, your best online mentor for the preparation of INBD, ADAT and the AFK exam. Please like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok. Please do visit my website at dentabest.com where I'm offering uh, several personalized and self-study smart learning program to help my students at a very affordable cost. So the topic we are going to take today is of the operative dentistry and we know the most important section actually the first section that we start we should start with is dental caries. So today this class is on cariology. So how the caries start? So there are three things which are very important for a caries to start. Number one is the tooth. So tooth will act like a host. Then you have the Flora, flora is the bacteria. Then you have the substrate. Now, the most important bacteria that is involved in initiation of caries is the streptococcus mutans that is initiating the caries. Now, the streptococcus mutans has an enzyme called as glucosyl transferase enzyme. The reaction will be the sucrose or your dietary sugar in the presence of glucosyl transferase enzyme produced by streptococcus mutans is going to get converted into glucans plus the levans. So, glucans is also called as dextrans, which is the polymer of glucose, and levans, also called as fructans, is a polymer of fructose. So, both glucans and levans, they are sticky sugar that will allow more bacteria to adhere to the tooth surface. Now, as a byproduct of this reaction happening, lactic acid is produced. And this lactic acid is going to drop your salivary pH. So normal salivary pH that remains close to neutral like 7.2, 7.4. But when you have acid, it's going to drop your salivary pH. And when it becomes acidic and comes to the pH 5.5, that is called as the critical pH. Why it is called as critical pH? Because once your pH falls below 5.5, that's when the demineralization of enamel is going to start and caries are going to happen. Now there is something called a specific plaque hypothesis. Now what is specific plaque hypothesis? This hypothesis states that not all the plaque is cariogenic. Some of the bacteria are involved more in the plaque formation, some are involved more in the caries formation like streptococcus mutans is involved in the caries. But streptococcus viridans species like streptococcus sanguins, it is more involved in formation of plaque rather than forming the caries. Now, streptococcus mutans bacteria, it is both acidogenic and acidouric. So, acidogenic means it can produce the acid, while acidouric means it can tolerate the acidic environment. So this was about the cariology. Hope you liked my video. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel on YouTube. Thank you so much. Study hard, study smart.